Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Riley and I'm coming at you today with another gold gun video. We actually just finished up diamond SMGs. I just finished the bullfrog today. Went absolutely crazy, hit a bunch of clips, got a crazy gameplay for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to show you my clips, hop into a class setup, and then I'm going to end the video off with a gameplay guys. So this is the diamond SMGs video. I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you later on in the video. Team. I don't see him. There's a spawn clip. George. Oh, I'm going to be in All right, guys, here we are over at the class setup that I'm going to be showing you guys that I believe is the best for the Bullfrog SMG in Cold War. But before we hop into that, I just want to show you guys, I actually don't really have diamond. I mean, I do have diamond, but technically the game is bugged and it says I only have gold for three of the SMGs. So I don't know if anyone else has encountered this bug on the game. I mean, Cold War is super buggy in general, so this doesn't surprise me at all, but it's kind of a bummer. I wanted to see the diamond in game and show you guys it in game, but unfortunately it's bugged on my account. All right, guys, to start us off with the muzzle, I rock the KGB Eliminator. I like this attachment a lot because it gives us vertical recoil control as well as muzzle flash concealment. I was rocking this on the KSP and I thought I'd try it on this gun and I like it just as much. I mean, when you're shooting, you don't see the bullet sprays and and the flashes and whatnot when you're shooting it keeps it a lot cleaner you can see your enemies well and it's just a super nice attachment in general for the barrel i rock the 7.4 inch task force this gives us everything damage related like plus three damage plus 50 damage range it gives us plus 75 bullet velocity this just makes the gun a lot more powerful continue on with streaks is really nice and i like this attachment a lot for that and for the underbarrel i like to use the spetsnaz grip this just gives us horizontal and vertical recoil control just kind of covers both bases in terms of recoil for the magazine i like to rock the 65 round speed mag this gun at level one has 50 bullets so you could go 85 round fast mag but sort of like with the ksp i just don't think it's worth it that's a bit overkill for me i don't see myself needing 85 bullets in a clip but yeah 65 round speed mag i like to use that a lot only minus 20 ads time which is not that big of a deal and lastly for the handle we are rocking the gru elastic wrap this is one of my favorite attachments it makes up for the ads time we lost 
with the magazine it gives us plus 30 it gives us flinch resistance and it also allows us to drop shot which is super nice so that's going to end off the class setup portion of the video, guys. This gun's pretty good. It's not as good as the MP5 or the 74U, but it's still a solid SMG. Fun to run around with, pop and kills. So that's going to be it for me, guys. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the video. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm and whatnot nowadays. And if you're new, we're still on the road to 1K subs. So if you enjoy the video, feel free to drop a sub. We're uploading a ton on this road to Dark Matter. We got the TAC rifles next, which is going to be super fun. I can't wait to get into those. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I will see you in my next upload. Take care. No way he spawns there. I thought it was good. Bro, that was the craziest war machine I've ever had. Holy fuck. Dude, playing kids that you smoke is literally the worst. I'd rather play tryhards. Twenty-six. I died. I was on a twenty-eight, bro. Yeah. I don't even know where I died from. I killed the knifer and I was behind the fucking bus. This fucking sucks, then. Can we try to win? Eighty-seven and thirty. Choke the twenty-eight fucking nuke streak, bro. I'm pissed. <laughs>